One response I get from carnivores when I bring up the very consistent link between red meat consumption and outcomes like cardiovascular disease or all-cause mortality is that the rest of the participants' diets were unhealthy, which is why it looks like red meat was the problem when really it isn't, according to them. Well, the studies I cite adjust for their background diets. This study, for example, adjusted for total calories, eggs, fruits, vegetables, potatoes, legumes, whole grains, refined grains, high-fat dairy, low-fat dairy, nuts and seeds, and sugar-sweetened beverages. So they're essentially comparing people eating more unprocessed meat to those eating less unprocessed meat while keeping those other dietary variables as well as exercise, smoking, and more relatively constant. But another more bizarre argument I've heard is that red meat may be problematic in the context of the typical diet, but once you transition to a mostly or all meat diet, all of a sudden it's the healthiest diet for us. So it seems like they're suggesting that as you increase red meat consumption, risk does go up like we see in this meta-analysis, but it eventually hits a point where it just falls off a cliff and actually reduces risk. But to be fair, there can be U-shaped curves for some variables, but there's an added layer of ridiculousness to this particular claim. Not only are they suggesting that the results for red meat Meat do a complete 180 at those very high levels of intake, but that those benefits actually outweigh the very clear and consistent benefits of whole grains, fruits, vegetables, legumes, and nuts and seeds that you'd otherwise be missing out on. I don't think this kind of magic even exists at Hogwarts. 